Hello, and welcome to Community Connections. My name is Addison Davis, Superintendent of Schools. Today we'll discuss the overall impact of the Clay Educational Foundation along with the role of the new Executive Director, Michaela Buchanan. The Educational Foundation has been a tremendous partner within our school district and within our community. They continuously go out and find donors and assistance in order to provide equipment, supports, mentorships, and time on task with our teachers to help them improve the experience for our children. Today, I have the opportunity to have Ms. Buchanan here. She's me. coming on board uh, with a new exciting time for the, uh, the Clay County Educational Foundation. So just come on board a couple months. Talk about you know, why the transition for you to come into Clay County and what does it mean to you to be able to assist uh, educators in, in their endeavors? So it's an awesome opportunity, you know, and I'm very grateful for it. So um, I've been in Clay County Schools my whole life. I grew up here. Both my parents are Clay County educators, so it's a pretty natural fit. It's awesome to be able to support the same folks who helped really raise me and uh, were so impactful in my life. So everything that we can do for the educators and the students, um, you know, I just think back to my time in Clay County Schools, and it's it's an awesome opportunity to be a part of. It, it definitely is a, a great, uh, you know, environment, great school system, and you do have some individuals that that are linked to you, your parents are great sure. educators in this county. So uh, we're glad to bring you on board to be able to help and assist. So as we uh, you unfold, you've been in this role for the last couple of months. What is the, the vision, the mission? What are we trying to accomplish in partnership with the school district for our teachers in, in order to align it to the strategic plan? So great question. You know, we've really done um, a hard look at the things that the foundation has been doing, the mission, the vision, um, some of our governing documents, looking at our board of directors, uh, you know, and looking at those things, we've really revamped and, and rebranded that. So, you know, our vision, of course, is to strengthen our Clay County That's public right. schools, you That's know, right. and, and within that, we're strengthening our community. So we want to be able to provide the necessary tools and resources for our educators, you know, not only so they're happy, but so they can take that to their classrooms and they can impact our students, and then therefore our students can go and be the most successful that they you know, can be. Um, within that, you know, our vision is, of course, to unite our entire community around education. We believe that's the most um, powerful asset Clay County has. We do have a great school system. That's Numerous correct. families move here uh, because of our school system that's being right. so great. Um, and we want to keep that here. We want to keep and retain those high quality educators. So everything that we can do to uh, support them in that endeavor, we most certainly are going to be able to do. Um, within that, we've expanded our Grants for Great Ideas program. We went right when I came on, we were in the process of awarding our second round this year. Um, over the course, we've done $50,000 this, wow. this, this school year. Um, and looking, you know, to kind of transition that to next year to not only be able to provide teachers the opportunity to have, you know, innovative projects come into their classroom and, lit and literacy and STEM, but also for schools to have an opportunity to come together and really think about what's the biggest need um, overall. and give them some more money, let's say, you know, five to $10,000 um, to really broaden our impact in that area. So. Yeah, I mean, so so lots going on. And, yeah. uh, you know, this this is a time now more than ever that, uh, you know, the Clay Educational Foundation really can really work collectively with our leadership team to identify what's most attractive to us based on our needs. We know that we'd love to raise money to incentivize, incentivize hard to fill positions, such mm -hmm. as ESE, math, higher mathematics, upper mathematics, along with, um, with uh, literacy and science as well. So we're really looking to figure out what we can do to broaden the scope of our work. And, and just as you said, you know, try to look at holistically as a school, what do you really want to address from a school perspective and how can the foundation raise money to be able to help you that aligns to the improvement of, of the, uh, you know, the competencies of children. So it, it's a perfect time to come in. And as I talk about this partnership, you know, what are we looking for for the makeup? Are we looking for, you know, uh, individuals to be on the board? Are you looking for partners? Are you looking for vendors to help in this process? Uh, you know, what are the needs right now sure. within the foundation? So I think the most vital need right now, you know, we, as we were looking at our board and seeing, you know, do we really represent Clay County the best of our ability? Uh, so we had a lot of finance folks on board. We had um, some folks who came from marketing, um, but no one from healthcare, no one from, you know, the technology yeah. side of it. So we're looking for those so if you're watching, right? So we're looking for those. Of of course, yeah, um, and we've been pretty successful in finding those, you know, um, and, and meeting with some folks who have a, a very strong passion for education. You know, they may have had kids right. in the school system. They themselves, many, have graduated from Clay County Schools and understand just how important that is. So that's, of course, um, 
something that we've, we're continuously to work on is the board recruitment, and, and we've brought on four new board members already, right. and That's had good. a few meetings uh, today and tomorrow, and we're very hopeful that we can uh, not only grow the board, but that within that we have more perspectives and ensure that we are meeting not only our school needs, but our overall community needs, because they're kind of, you know, one and the same. No, uh, I think you said it well a minute ago when we talked about the, the foundation of success of, of Clay County is the educational system. Yeah and newcomers come because of how well uh, our culture is instructionally academically you know emotionally and socially for mm -hmm. for, our, for our children so the biggest thing if we can get you know business partners you know uh, providers to come in and uh, faith-based leaderships and, and all of us to to work collectively we can continue to become and seek to become the best school district in the state of oh Florida. absolutely and yeah. it's not we're not too far off at all I no, right there so, yeah and you know um you know, going into that too, it's it, it is really unifying those business partners together. Sure. So seeking out new funders, new folks who want to be involved in our upcoming Tools for Clay Schools event. If they want to give back to teachers, you know, and make sure that they have access to those tools, um, grants, bringing that stuff to the schools. So you know, it's it, it's there's numerous opportunities for them to be a part of this, our Teacher of the Year event, yeah, etc. Special so, event, one of the yeah. one of the greatest events we have there, and, and thankful for the foundation and their assistance in that process. So anything looking for the future that mm -hmm. you may say that you know we we want to go try to obtain to do or to evolve as, as the foundation yeah sure so there's a few things that we are trying to reboot and bring back that um, they used to do so when the foundation started in 88 it really had a lot to do with um, holding money and giving right. in scholarships so we're gonna reinstate the scholarships yeah. next year awesome. it seems you know one of the most you know just yeah simple ways to give back yeah. to students yeah, and it really has a dramatic impact on their futures and their lives um, as well as a, a, a an opportunity, a program that's based off of Let's Read Florida, you know, bringing literacy to our classroom, Let's Read Clay. It's based off of something that Seminole County kind of started doing, and it's a summer program where you're going into these low-income areas, and you're taking these students' books, and you're taking them activity kits, and you're kind of um, ensuring that when they get to third grade, after they've gone through second grade that past year, that they still remember what yeah, they had in second yeah, grade. Yeah. Um, and of course, you know, helping the school district and whatever else comes up that, you know, we see as a, um, a need. And Sure. being able to partner there. Well, it's truly, um, you know, excited about where we're going. Your leadership in the last couple of months has, has truly proven to be successful. It's, uh, it's been refreshing, innovative. So, uh, you know, only, uh, you know, time will tell how great we can be. And I'm, I'm glad that you're at that point where you're helping mm -hmm. us lead us. Now, the big thing we have in, in the summertime, we do a tools for, for um, the, I think it's a tools for school. Mm -hmm, that's okay. Right. Yes, right. Sir, yes, and then that will be in August. Yes, sir. And this is where the foundation really takes the lead to provide educators with supplies and equipment they may need to further you know um, implement the the curriculum and the resources within their classroom so what's actually needed for that event from the foundation standpoint and, and how can we seek assistance for those who are watching sure so um, we're really excited about this this will be the second time we've done this event and you know um, binders glue sticks color yeah. pencils paper and little things um, matter you know little things mm -hmm. do matter you know teachers are constantly going into their pocketbooks spending over five hundred dollars a year um, a lot of them are probably watching and thinking oh I spend more than that yeah, and I don't mean way, to offend them yeah, you know and, um, and and I totally get that and the foundation wants to help in any way that we can um, so we have given out probably about 20 collection bins already to wow. partners across the community and all yeah. the areas um, and have received quite a bit of donations in terms of money so we'll be collecting from June and July and then about mid-July we'll pick up those supply bins and we'll okay. take the monetary support that we've received and we will fill in those gaps okay. and so on August 9th we'll have that tools for clay schools event for the second time and we're hopeful that it's successful enough that we'll be able to do it again in January oh, and then you know nice. the year after um, make it quarterly sure. and then eventually you know have that permanent location where teachers can come and they can shop for free sure. you know um, based on you know, the generosity of our partners all the time. Right. So. Awesome. We, we, we know that teachers go over and beyond, and, and while we give them, you know, all the resources we think they need, sure. there's always additional resources. It's never enough to educate our children. Right. So, you know, thank you for, for stepping on this role. Thank you for your leadership. Uh, look forward to great things in the, in the foundation, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, look forward to, to continue to help teachers be successful. So we appreciate what you do, Michaela, yes, sir, and, no, well, and, you. And, and welcome aboard. For those who are, who are, who are watching with us, thank you for, so very much for what you do. Thank you for allowing me to lead this great school district into our class of 2019. And uh, I try not to get emotional right here because I have a daughter that will be graduating in, you know, uh, in this school year as well. So 
congrats to each of you. And while you think that uh, you may have arrived, your journey is just beginning. And I am so jealous of the time that you have in your future. So best of luck to you. Uh, always reach out if you ever need me or anyone within, the, within this county that's been a positive impact in your life. We wish you the best and we wish you great success. Have a great end of the school year and uh, look forward to great things in Clay County.